Hello everyone! It's that time again where we talk Advent calendars. Yes, that's right! It has been another two weeks. Isn't it amazing how fast it goes? And I am pleased to say, after that debacle last week <laughs> of eyeliner craziness, we are getting better. So, this is what happened last week. We have two advent calendars. One is the NYX Lippy Countdown calendar. The other one is one that I put together myself. It looks like this. I wrapped it. And last week I got a dried up eyeliner. I switched it for another product, so let's go through those products first, show you what I picked out two weeks ago, and then we'll get into my new stuff this week, because I love trying new things. I'm so excited. Okay, so for the NYX countdown, I got this NYX lingerie in the shade Embellishment. This was beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It is perfectly right on trend. It is a nude lilac shade. That's the shade right there. I really like the way this looked on my lips. I thought it was flattering. I thought it was going to be great for spring. I really enjoyed wearing it. I probably wore it mm, three times in two weeks, which is pretty good because I'm trying to use up other lip products. And I loved it. I thought that looked great on me, and this is definitely a keeper. So, yay for keeping lippies. <laughs> and then the debacle of the eyeliner. As you saw, the Bella Pierre eyeliner was dried out. It didn't sharpen very well to try and get new product. Well, I can't even say it was dried out because, like, it was still creamy when I did get a point, but then it would just fall apart. I don't know what was happening. I have a feeling it was a mixture of, like, old and bad packaging because somebody left me in the comments that it was hard to sharpen for them, too. So, c'est la vie, Bear Bella Pierre. I'm sorry. So I did pick out this Ardencian Modster liner, again, in the shade Black. This one worked out very well. As you can see, I have now since sharpened it. I sharpened it right before this video, so you can see. And it is still creamy and black. That's it right there. I thought this did a good job. Did I think it was amazing? No. But it didn't transfer underneath my eyes. It didn't smear after it set. I will say, though, you have to let this set. Because if you don't let it set, I got transfer onto my hooded eyes. That was a no-go. No-go with that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we go. By the way, did you notice my face? <laughs> I am barefaced in a bathrobe. Yes, that's right! I come to you without any makeup on, except for my lovely lip gloss, because I'm eyelids are feeling dry this morning. And this is the Julep lip gloss that I'm using up in my Spring Project Pan. Isn't it pretty? Plus, I think my skin looks pretty good today, so I'm okay filming. <laughs> Alright, so I'm actually keeping both of these products. I think that's, is this the first week that I've done that? I'm just, I'm just really pleased that this one worked out for me. Um, I would give it a good solid B. I don't think I'd go out of my way to purchase it again, but I'm glad that I finally tried it and I know that it's good enough. So, let's go on to this week because it's time. Do you see? I was just seeing if it was smudged, but no, it's pretty good. Pretty good. It's not the longest for our time, but it's pretty good. My random.org generator came up with the number 18. There she is. Yes, I broke my phone. <laughs> I dropped it. But number 18 is what we got. So let's start with what I wrapped myself. Because I don't remember what's in here, I'm really intrigued because this is kind of like a weird shape. It's like too thin for a lipstick. But it's like not long enough for an eyeliner. So I don't know what this is. What's your guess? Guess down below before you move on. Did you guess? Okay. I don't know. Oh! Okay. It's neither of the things I asked I was guessing. This is the Mally Evercolor Shadow Stick. Look at that! Do I forgot I had this? This is in the shade Burnished Bronze. There it is. I love these shadow sticks. I think they're great. I just um, went to London a few weeks ago and I actually brought the champagne one with me. And it looks so good. They're so easy to travel with. That's what she looks like. I think I got this at Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. Was it last year? 
I'm on sale. Oh, look at that color. Yes, I see why I picked this one out. Burnished bronze. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. That's perfect. I'm really excited to wear this and try it. I can already tell you I am 95% 90 sure I'm going to love this because that shade is gorgeous. I already know I like this formula, so... Do you ever get like really excited when all of a sudden you find something and you're like, yes, I do love that. I remember why I bought that. Why have I never tried you? <laughs> because I have too much makeup. Look at that smile on my face. Look, that's a sign of a good purchase when it gets this smile on your face. And that's the meaning of it. All right, now let's do the NYX Lippy Countdown Calendar, shall we? As always, I will come back two weeks to tell you what I thought of all these products because we're going to pick new products. Number 18 is right there, the purple lips. I'm hoping it's not too purple. I'm not a big purple person on the lips. Lavender, yes, purple, no. <laughs> okay, so I got the NYX Liquid Sword Lipstick in the shade Stone Fox. It is gray, guys. It is totally gray. Do you think it's actually black or do you think it's gray? Oh, no, it's definitely gray. <laughs> oh my god, look at that color. Okay. Ah. I don't know where I'm going to wear that this week. <laughs> I'm going to have to find a spot to wear that. Um, I honestly did not think there was going to be a gray in this box, but that's going to be interesting. Oh, that's going to be so interesting. Oh, the interesting stuff today. Definitely can't wear those two together. Look how weird that would look, right? Super warm and super cool together. Um, well then, there we have it. Stay tuned. <laughs> in two weeks, we'll see how this goes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.